It's now 518. It's Tuesday morning, and boy, that fresh coat of snow out there, you're certainly going to notice as you head outside. Over to Scott Steele and the Storm Team forecast. You're not talking about a big accumulation here, Scotty. You're absolutely right, Vinny and Sue's. Perhaps a couple inches in any one location, most locations less than that, but the timing stinks. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday from the Weather Center. Our entire viewing area now seeing snow. No matter what county you're in, if you're in southeastern Wisconsin, we've got the flakes coming down. And actually, it's more of like a powdery uh, accumulation, that light, fluffy, sparkly stuff. Back off to the west, you already noticed the back edge of the steady snow pushing into Dane County and around Madison. That's going to continue traveling eastward. And so as we get to the tail end of the morning commute, Things will begin to let up, but boy, we've got our work cut out for us to get us through this morning commute, and Caitlin will update us on traffic momentarily, but we can tell you all of us, we're talking about it coming into work this morning. You can't even see the lane divisions. It's really nasty outside out on the road. So let me give you a couple of quick uh, tower cam locations, a tour across the area. This is to the south. This is Kenosha, and uh, good morning, Kenosha. You're seeing the snow accumulating on the rooftops there, another fresh coating of that white powder. It's hard to see the flakes coming down in Kenosha. So let me take you to the airport south side of Milwaukee and our airport tower cam against the light. You can see just how quickly that snow is coming down. Now there is a bit of good news as I've been saying all morning long. Our winds are relatively light, which means there won't be a whole lot of blowing and drifting. The problem is that the snow is coming down rather rapidly. So visibilities are still somewhat low and there could still be at times whiteout conditions. In your weather headlines for today, it's going to be a grayer day as the flakes continue to fly. We're going to get another round of snow coming our way tonight into tomorrow morning. And while we will see a cold air, at least we're going to be climbing a little bit, a cold climb. Outside right now, pretty darn close to 10 degrees everywhere. 10 in Fond du Lac, Milwaukee, Racine, and Kenosha. 11 in Sheboygan, 7 in West Bend, where the wind chill is 4. So not much wind out there, not much of a chill to the air. The really nasty core of polar air has lifted back up to the north. Some moderation, it's limited, but at least it's out there. Satellite and radar combination showing the first quick hitter coming through the area now. There's that back edge, a bit of a break in the clouds, and then we're going to see another one coming our way rather rapidly in time for tonight. Almost a repeat performance. So your storm team forecast for today. That early snow out of the way, then mostly cloudy, very cold, up to 21 degrees. We should be close to 38 this time of year. Tonight, another round of more snow, an inch or two of accumulation through the morning hours. Tomorrow, very cold, down to 13. Tonight, we're back up to 21. I said it last half hour, it's like Groundhog's Day. Here we go again. Mostly cloudy and very cold after tomorrow morning's early snow. And tomorrow night, partly to mostly cloudy, very cold again, down to 10. Here's your Storm Team 10-day outlook. And, well, here comes a bit of a warm-up. We'll bounce back and forth between the 30s near 40 degrees and then the 20s as we head toward next week. Caitlin, Friday's precipitation with highs near 36 looks to be snow, sleet, and then rain. All right. Thanks for the heads up, Scott, and good morning.